most important and impactful things that you have to do right now is to boost your immune system. You need your immune system to defend you when virus, bacteria, fungi attack you. Even when you get any diseases and your immune system is strong, it fight it by itself. In most of my videos, I have talked about boosting your immune system. I'll leave some of the link in my description below and also up there so that you can check it out. My name is Josie. I'm a pharmacist. Before I move on, I want you to take a few moments and click on the subscribe button and the bell beside it so that you wouldn't miss any of my videos. In today's video, I'm going to share with you five habits that you should be mindful of that will weaken your immune system. My number one habit is eating too much salt. A lot of salt can lead to fluoride retention, immune deficiency, and high blood pressure. Research has shown that when your kidney excretes a lot of sodium, which is salt, it gives the body the ability to fight infection. Research has also shown that Unhealthy adult only need about 23 to 3400 of milligram of sodium a day, which is very little. It's just about one teaspoon. Most of the food that we get a lot of salt or sodium from is the processing food, like the canned food, the frozen pizza, and many more. Anytime you buy any processing food, make sure you check the nutrition label about how many sodium is in that food. Oh, remember, I've been telling you guys, we are trying so hard to reduce our processing food so that we can eat a fresh whole food, like fruit and vegetables, spices and herbs. So when you buy processing food, please try and remember to read the label to see how much sodium or salt is in that food. One easy way to eat less salt when you are preparing your meal is to add herbs and spices to it. I do that a lot so that I wouldn't use a lot of salt. But remember, we don't want the spices that has a lot of salt, like maggi. We have the natural ones like cinnamon, turmeric, cumin, paprika, and many more. So when you add them to the salt, it reduces the salt intake and you have a lot of natural spices in your food as well. So reduce your salt intake so that you can boost your immune system. A lot of salt can weaken your immune system. My second habit that weaken your immune system is consuming a lot of added sugar. I have talked about a lot of added sugar in my video. I'll leave the link on the screen and also in my description below so that you can check it out after you watch this video. I understand that there's a lot of added sugar around that can tempt you a lot. But when you eat a lot of it, it gives the immune system inability to fight bacteria, virus, fungi. It's really weakening your immune system. So please reduce your sugar intake. It wouldn't help you in the long run. You can also get diabetes from it as well. A lot of sickness are being caused by eating a lot of sugar. According to American Heart Association, in a day, we only need about six teaspoons of sugar for women, and the men also need about nine teaspoons of sugar. So reduce your sugar intake. One way that you can reduce your sugar intake is to swipe sugar with fruits and vegetables. Banana has a lot of sugar in it. It's very sweet. So instead of putting sugar in your oatmeal, you can add banana. You can also drink your tea raw without adding sugar and it really takes refreshing. So reduce your sugar intake so that you wouldn't weaken your immune system. My third habit that you have to watch out is eating less fiber. I like fiber so much because you can get it from anywhere. Fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, from legumes, like beans, chickpeas, lentils, or you can get it from everywhere. Fiber support our digestive system and also help us make up our gut bacteria, which enhance our immunity and our mood. I have talked about eating fiber in one of my videos, so I'll link the link up there and in my description below. Research has shown that our daily intake of fiber is 25 grams for women and 38 grams for men. Oh, do you know that when you eat healthy fiber like nut and seeds, it can make you sleep very well, 
of fiber is good for our body. So eat a lot of fiber. Some of the best way to get your fiber intake is to swipe your sugary cereal with oatmeal with fruit on the top. Instead of eating cookies and chips, you can eat fruit and vegetables. Another best way is to swipe your white rice with brown rice. Brown rice also has a lot of fiber in them. My fourth habit that doesn't help our immune system is not eating enough of green vegetables. Example of green vegetable is spinach, kale, broccoli, cabbage, lettuce, and many more. Green vegetables are also good for our immunity. The green vegetables contain a lot of vitamin A and C and also folate, which is very good for our immune function. They also have a chemical that when it's released to our body, it helps our immunity function to its best. The best way to eat your green vegetable is to add them to your fruits so that you can make them in a smoothie way. I drink my green smoothie almost every day and that really, really helps my body in a special way. You want your body to appreciate you. One of the best things you can do in the morning is to add spinach to a fruit or a vegetable and make it in smoothie and drink. You will feel good the whole day. So eat a lot of green vegetables so that you can boost your immune system. If you don't get enough of it, you weaken your immune system. My last habit that weakens your immune system is drinking alcohol and smoking cigarettes. I know I'm going to get a lot of enemies about this, but people, they are not good for your body. So don't do them at all. Don't even start doing them. According to the alcohol research, intakes of alcohol, even if it's a little, it can still weaken your immune system. But I've heard a lot of people saying that, oh, during this crisis, a lot of wine, a lot of beer can help you to overcome your stress. Alcohol, cigarette, doesn't help your immune system. It weakens your immune system. I have heard a lot of people saying that a little wine, a little beer can help your health system. No, it cannot. It weakens your immune system. Especially when you smoke a lot, it affects your lungs. A lot of research has talked about that. So stop drinking and stop smoking. It weakens your immune system. Please give this video a thumbs up so that I will continue to make such videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the bell beside it so that you wouldn't miss any of my videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.